my name's Deborah. I'm an artist. I'm also a part-time PhD student and I work for Autism Hampshire. Yeah, during lockdown, things have changed quite dramatically, actually. Um, most of this is around communication and social engagement for myself. Uh, video chat, I know it's not for everybody, but I'm not great on the phone. I, um, I actually find it quite stressful sometimes, particularly um, if it's with people that I don't know very well. Um, and I find it almost impossible with people that I don't know at all. It can be very, very stressful. I have to concentrate very, very hard to negotiate the conversation um, and then also it's been really good to use video chat uh, for friendship um, for groups and engagement with a mixture of sort of social and work activities really that I wouldn't have been able to access before. Yeah I, I wouldn't have been able to access them mainly to do with um, three factors time um, so uh, time because I'm a working parent and student and I just wouldn't have time to travel um, to meet with others and then another element of uh, why I wouldn't be able to access um, this kind of thing would be through anxiety around travel around journeys um, and then around social um, anxiety and and all of these things actually would work together to make it quite impossible for me to to be able to do something like that. So, for instance, you know, I may be worried about being late to pick the children up from school. I may be concerned about um, how I'm going to get there, how I'm going to get back. Um, and then I may be concerned about what it's going to be like when I get there. And actually, all three of those would impact um, on my decision about whether I would take part in something or not. So the difference about using um, using a video meeting, a video chat, um, it allows me to prepare. Uh, you can record some of the meetings as well with people's permission. And then that gives me a chance to reflect properly um, uh, on, on the conversations had. And at least I have the option to do that, which takes some of the stress out of it for me. Um, and then socialising, I can choose. I can choose whether I... Um, I attend something I can choose the level of engagement I have so I'm aware some people really don't like using videos um, at all I find it really useful um, and, a, and a really useful tool to communication and it's having those options and that flexibility which makes it um, really really good I suppose the biggest impact it's had on me it's given me the ability to meet other women on the autism spectrum and actually there is a real need for that coming together of women on the autism spectrum and that was highlighted in our webinar that we did uh, for International Women's Day. It's the first time Autism Hampshire have done something like that and it was just so wonderful so we look forward to building on that in future in future years and actually it's it's women on the autism spectrum that I learn most from um, it can be the best tonic and it's probably the most important social network and support network that I have because we can share experiences. It gives you that valuable peer support that so many of us may have missed out on um, uh, earlier in life due to late diagnosis. And there may be difficulties as well in maintaining friendships. So this is a really great place to meet others who who understand you and can share their experiences and also help identify need and that's something that everybody needs to learn more about. I'm really excited about the prospect um, of Autism Hampshire developing a women's group. I think it's going to be such a great service um, and such an enjoyable safe environment to meet others in.